Hi guys and welcome to another quick Logic Pro X tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how to quantize and this one goes out to Cameron Page. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I've already got a, a software instrument track up here um, and I've got the retro synth loaded in with a preset and I've got my musical typing window up here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly uh, record some notes in here, uh, just a quick two bar loop. Right, so you may have heard that is not completely in time. Um, so, what I can do is just double click on that and select all of my MIDI notes here. Um, and another way you can do that is if you go edit down to select and then up to all um, and that will select all of your MIDI notes. Brilliant. Um, now there are various options when, comes to quant when it comes to quantizing. Um, you can select different timings. Um, so first of all I'm just going to select 16th notes um, just there and then as you can see that's just placed all of my notes right on the beat. Um, so if we just have a quick look Listen to that. Brilliant. And just with the metronome, so you can hear that's perfectly in time. Cool. Um, that is just what we want. Now, if that doesn't happen immediately um, when you select um, the timing that you want, just press this Q on the right hand side, and that should do exactly what you want. Um, now obviously you can select different timings so um, yeah just have an experiment you can go into swing time, triplet feel um, there we go if you've got five tuplets um, so yeah you know you can you can do whatever you like really um, but yeah that's quantizing in Logic Pro X thanks for watching guys and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe